First down, Sam Peters from their own 35. They trail 3-0. Throwing lots of motion to the right. Babra throwing, and it goes incomplete. The intended receiver, Walker, swinging out of the backfield. A penalty marker down at the 40-yard line. You no know, deal. during that break there, we saw Al McCann going to the far side in the BC Lions, and I wonder if, if Al can hear me whether or not he has a report on Luma, who was injured as Tim Collins fell on his leg. Al, are you there? Yes, I am, Frank. Uh, I talked to the doctor and also to Bill Richelt, the trainer. They're not going to take any chance on David. He has a sprained knee. He was willing to go back in. He said he didn't feel any pain, but they're going to play uh, play a little safe. They say David will not play anymore tonight. First down. It's a holding call against the Lions. Here's a look at it. Nice little shot of Crawford grabbing him right there at the line of scrimmage. Ball was delivered beautifully by Vavra. First down, Sam Peters from their own 45. Vavra. Out of the pocket. Picks up about seven yards. They get six at the 51-yard line. Tyrone Cruz in on the tackle. As you look at the Stampeder offensive line, Mac Moore was also in the tackle. Dave Kersinger, the Chinley Award nominee from that offensive unit of the Calgary Stampeders. And, of course, BC Lions back at full strength with Nick Hebler back in the lineup after missing six or seven games this season. And James Parker heads on favor to be the outstanding defensive player in the country this year. One and a one half sacks. Tommy Scott incomplete. Pass going a little bit high, but being the kind of night it is, passes are going to have to be thrown pretty good because it is chilly here at McMahon Stadium. As you look at the linebacking crew of the Lions, led by number 91, Tyrone Cruz in the middle, and Kevin Konar, who's their nominee as outstanding Canadian. He's had a super year. Defensively, Darnell Clash will tell you is in the lineup, but Keith Gooch and Mel Bird are the starting corners. A bit of controversy there as Clash was the <laughs> rookie of the year candidate for the BC Lions, and Gooch has replaced him over the last couple of football games. Well, Mel Bird picked up uh, Charlie Horse last week in Ottawa, so Clash is there as a turn. He goes down again. Hunt by McTay. Crawford on the return. Brings it back out to the 33-yard line. Good return by Larry Crawford of 20 yards. Tim Petros making the tackle for the Sam Peters. And the Lions leading 3-0. We'll go on offense for the second time here in the first quarter. Ball at their own 32 is where they spot it now. 8.39 left. Larry Crawford has not had as big a year returning punts as he has in the past. As a matter of fact, nor has he in interceptions. He has led this BC Lion team in interceptions every year since he's been here. Trails right now by one. Andre Jones, of course, is the leader. First down play for the Lions. Middle opened up. Cowan had a thought about running, and he should have, because this one picked off by Richie Hall and sent it to Ron Robinson. And a big return here for little Richie Hall inside the 10-yard line with his second interception of the year. Fifty-four yard return by Richie Hall and the Stampeders are first and 